MMA fighting here at UFC 226 Media Day with Drakkar Close, who meets Lando Venata on Saturday night. First things first, Lando Venata, big prospect, big time prospect. It seems you're getting a lot of those these days. Uh, what did you think of when you what, met the matchup? What, what's considered a prospect, you know what I mean? Like, we're, I guess we're both prospects. Like, when do we come, become, uh, you know, just veterans of, you know? Um, but what, what was the question again? I'm oh, sorry, I was. <laughs> What were your initial thoughts when you got the matchup? Did you um, like it? They wanted me to fight them back in April, uh, the Glendale card. You know, uh, I wasn't ready, um, but now I guess it was meant to be. Uh, I think it's a great matchup for me. Um, I'm just going to bring it to them. This is now sort of a pattern that's developed where they're giving you sort of these guys that are very highly touted and, and uh, you know, you keep knocking them off. But is this something you've noticed as well? That's what I want, you know what I mean? You have to beat them if you want to be a contender. And that's what I want. I don't, I don't want easy fights. I want to fight the tough so I can get that belt one day, so. Well, I know this is a big one for you just because something else going on in your life, fatherhood upcoming. How has that been like, just sort of juggling uh, the two sides of the coin, you know, training while having a, a baby on the way? Uh, it's easy right now because he's not here. So, uh, you know, once he gets here, then you can ask me that question, you know. But until then, I can't really answer that one. Hey, splitting, I guess, your focus, you know, being distracted, has that been an issue at all? No, because he's not here. So all I had, all I had to do is go out and buy everything he needed, and that was it. So Fair enough. I, and, you know, we always hear fighters say that coming off a loss, that, that that's sort of a loss will teach you much more than a win. Um, that was your first loss. How, how was it dealing with that? I mean, did you come away from that learning more, much more than you had before. To me, it didn't feel like a loss. He ran the whole time. Uh, if I'm going to lose, I want to be knocked out, like, you know, but um, I did take, you know, sometimes fighters, you know, when they have an undefeated record, they go in there and just try to keep their record, you know what I mean, just to fight, fight safe. Uh, it's it's kind of a chip off my, uh, something off my back, you know what I mean, to just get in there and just, you know, actually showcase and not worry about taking an L because I already got one. I saw somewhere where you said you almost went on like a vision quest afterwards or something like that. Uh, can you elaborate? Like, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, it was just, you know, just stuff, you know, after that loss and just, you know, just people in my life and just, you know, I just cut everyone out, uh, stopped training for a little bit and just, you know, just had to find myself again. And uh, I think I came back a lot stronger. The MMA lab of late has been on a tear. I mean, the last few weeks you guys have been killing it. What's really been coming together inside the gym? What's the feeling inside the gym right now? Um, I think, you know, uh, there's always ups and downs in this sport. And I think, you know, every, everything's starting to come together. It's all about timing. And, you know, and right now everything's clicking. So, uh, Lando, I mean, what do you see in him as an opponent stylistically when, when you look at him? Not much. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Like, he's... Not technical, you know, and I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know. What, what do you think about him? Uh, you know, he's a very creative striker. He's very fluid. It seems like he's willing to take chances. Uh, and you know how you stop people like that? How? Pressure him. What, what is he going to do if, if, he's, if I pressure him the whole time? So that's, that's, that's all I plan on doing. So. I mean, he, had, he has fought four UFC fights at this point. He's only won one, but it seems like people still regard him as this sort of you know, highly touted prospect. Do you feel like he's overrated at all at this point? No, I think, you know, this, this is fighting. You know, he's here, He's in the UFC for a reason. You know, everyone's good. Um, he's a good fighter, uh, but it is what it is. We're, we're just going to go out and find out who's the better fighter on Saturday. Among sort of the, the prospects that you keep, you know, having to, to fight and knock off, would you, would you, where would you rank Lando? Would you say he's probably the most talented among them or no? Uh, I compare him like Dia Casey, same style. Well, I, last thing, I mean, when you visualize this fight in your head, what do you see? How, how does this play out on Saturday night? Uh, I visualize second round knockout um, uppercut. That's very succinct. I like it. Thank you so much for your time, Drakkar. Appreciate it.